up, y'all? What is up? Hello, everyone. I am Erica, and today I'm going to be sharing the two books I read this month. Okay, first, let's start with the adult thriller. Okay, so the book I picked up was First Girl Gone by L.T. Vargas and Tim McBain. This book has 400 pages. Okay, so this book is about private investigator Charlotte Winters. Charlotte, or Charlie, returns to the small town where she grew up because her uncle gets sick with cancer. She takes over his private investigating firm. A local teenager, Kara Dawkins, goes missing. Her mother, Misty Dawkins, enlists the help of Charlie to help find her daughter. This mystery brings back old feelings and memories for Charlie. When they were teenagers, Charlie's twin sister, Allie, was murdered, and her murder remains unsolved. So after a body was found in the same place the remains of Allie were found, Charlie decides that she has to bring justice for the victims as well as her sister Allie. So this book had a slow beginning but towards the middle and the end I was on the edge of my seat. So I really enjoyed the, the wittiness of the characters. I always appreciate when authors are able to tie in some dark comedy in stories tackling dark material such as murders and possible serial killers. Don't get me wrong, this is not comedy, this is not satire, this book has a lot of serious moments and emotional depth. Since these two things can coexist, I think that's a sign of good writing. So as someone who lives in a small town myself, I think the depiction of small town secrets and crimes are on point. <laughs> I mean, small town murders are sick and weird. Not to say that all murders aren't sick and weird. It's just small town killings. Uh, they're a different breed. Now for the answer that you have all been waiting for. Did I figure out the ending before the book actually ended? And that's a big fat no. I was actually shocked and I did not guess the ending. I give this book a 4.5 out of 5. Honestly, it was just a really good thriller, mystery, murder mystery. Um, this, I think, is the first in trilogy, if I'm not mistaken. I did give it 0.5 off of my rating due to the fact that it did have a slow beginning. But honestly, it picked up just fine, um, and I do recommend this book. Okay, now let's get to the YA slash teen slash thriller mystery book. <laughs> okay, I am bad with genres, as you probably can tell. Okay, let's get started. So this book I got through way faster. I got through it in like a few days. So this is actually half the book. Yes, yes, yes. This is The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard. You probably have heard of Sarah Shepard. She made the madly popular Pretty Little Liars book series. I love that book series and TV show in middle school. Big fan. So when I saw uh, the author name, I knew I had to pick this book. This is one of my thrifting finds. Reading this book felt like I was reading a TV show. If that makes any sense. What I mean is the pacing. It never got boring. You always were invested in the story. Disclaimer, this is a teen book. <laughs> so there are references and allusions in this book that really, uh, if you're more mature, you probably would not understand and probably will find annoying. But if you could like put that behind you and just enjoy a little fun book, I think 
uh, that increases the probability of you liking this book a lot more. Okay, so what's this book about? So this book is about Emma Paxton. She is an orphan and her mother abandoned her at the age of five. She's been in foster homes her whole life and she's about to turn 18. So uh, her last foster home she is in before she's like permanently out of the system. At this new foster home, she mysteriously finds out big news. She has a long lost twin sister and her sister is the exact opposite of her. She's rich, she was adopted, and she's very popular. So Emma goes on a mission to meet her sister Sutton. She doesn't have many family, so she's just really excited that she actually might have some family. So she goes and by the time she goes to meet Sutton, Sutton disappears. Emma has to take on the life that she always dreamed of to solve the mystery of where Sutton is. Okay, I really love this book. Um, it was a fun, easy read. I, it was just easy to read. It wasn't, you know, too deep or anything. The one thing about this book though, it is not plausible at all. Like this could never happen <laughs> in real life, but it's fiction and I'm okay with that, you know? So I love conspiring theories about this book. It was just, it was just a very good book to like theorize. <laughs> um, and honestly, I stayed up like one night to just finish it because I was just so enamored with the story. And like, it was 1 a.m. and I was screaming at the book like a lunatic because I'm very passionate about my theories. Um, so yeah, I really thought this was just a fun read. So I give this book a four out of five. I give this book a four out of five. I recommend the book to someone who wants a quick read with a mystery. Um, also, if you like The Walking Dead, uh, I have another book review on my page and that book is about the zombie apocalypse. Even if you don't like the zombie apocalypse, I think you should check out my review. <laughs> Go and check it out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment.